I'm here in Malvern, Arkansas, checking out all the things that they're up to here at Great Bet International. David, would you tell us a little bit about Great Bet through the years and where you guys are now? I will. Uh, Great Bet started in 1939 in Camden, Arkansas. It was uh, begun by a young entrepreneur named Kendall Folks, B.T. Folks, uh, F-O-O-K-S. Uh -huh. uh, he uh, got into the soft drink business uh, selling flavors literally out of the trunk of his car That's out right. of Camden, Arkansas. Um, he opened up a couple of plants, uh, bottling plants, right before the Depression. Business got really bad during that time. Sure. Uh, so things were kind of scaled back momentarily, but it also gave him a chance to sort of regroup and figure out what was working, what wasn't, and what he found was the most popular was a grape flavor that he had uh, developed. He uh, studied ways to, uh, you know, what should he name it, uh, how, sh how could he market it, and he came up with calling it Grapeette. Partly the name came from the little bottle that he put it in. Uh, okay. This is a six ounce bottle as opposed to uh, eight, 10, or 12, which was more popular at the time. But there were more bottles per case, and uh, again, a very popular, uh, very attractive, you know, beautiful colored uh, soft drink that, uh, that really gained popularity, skyrocketed uh, from its development in 1939. First hit the shelves in 1940 and uh, by within 10 years had 300 bottling uh, plants across the country, wow. uh, national distribution, and had become the number one best-selling uh, fruit-flavored soft drink. Uh, was the, I think, one of the best non-cola selling soft drinks in, in the country, uh, and really kind of put Arkansas soft drinks on the map. Around that time, my uh, grandfather also lived in Camden. His name was Paul May. He was doing some business in Central and South America and kept coming back to Camden and telling Mr. Folks that uh, there was a lot of, um, the, the people in, in those countries were drinking really bright, sweet, fruit flavored drinks and thought that some of the, the drinks that they developed like the Grape Bed and Orange Jet and some of the other ones, the lemon flavor and other flavors like that would be really popular down there. So my grandfather, Paul May, Helped start the international division, which is now was called is now known as Great Bet International. Okay. That is our company name today. And the reason that we are Great Bet International is that Mr. Folks, as he started aging and didn't have any heirs that wanted to take over the business and didn't really have much of a plan of what to do upon you know his retirement, sold the company to some competitors. Uh, who eventually basically stopped selling Great Bet altogether. It was bought by a, com a rival uh, producer of soft drinks who, who bought the brand just to sort of do away with oh, their competition. Okay. So uh, Great Bet it, it went away for almost an entire generation. It was in the late 60s uh, that this first started to happen and for uh, the better part of about 30 years in the United States there was no Great Bet that could be found in, in most of the U.S. Uh, but our company, the International Division, was still selling to the Central and South American companies. We picked up some cu customers in the Pacific Rim and Southeast Asia um, and continued selling the original Great Bet formulas uh, to make our flavor concentrates and sell them across the, uh, across the globe. Um, since we had these formulas, we were able to then get into Walmart uh, selling as part of their private label line of soft drinks. Uh, we didn't have the brand name, that trademark had been sold, but we had the flavor that had made the drink famous. So uh, there was a time that, uh, that Grape Et and Orange Jet and all of these drinks were available, but just as a, a generic kind of grape soda for, wow. for Walmart. Uh, fast forward to uh, the, about the turn of the century, about 1999 or so, the trademark became available again and we were able to get that and oh, bring wow. the, the flavors and the, the brand names together again and distribute them exclusively through Walmart. Oh. Uh, that all came about with uh, another business uh, proposition that we were doing with Walmart. 
Uh, and while in a meeting, Mr. Sam Walton happened to walk into it, uh, stuck his head in, and, oh my and met my father, who was uh, doing the negotiating. And when he heard that my dad had the rights to Great Bet, he said, I want that in my stores. I grew up drinking Great Bet. Oh, wow. And would love to have that flavor available, you know, in my stores. So since your grandpa, right, has been a family business within your family. It is, yes. Three generations of, of the Rice family, uh, including Paul May, my, my grandfather, my, my mother's father, mm -hmm. uh, then my father and my brother, brother-in-law and myself uh, have all oh, wow. uh, worked here. I at love Great that Bay. it's a family business. And it started, you said, in Camden. Yes. And now we're in Malvern. We are so in really Malvern, Arkansas. Stayed, it's just stayed pretty close to your... Yes, yeah, pretty close. Original. We were we had been in Hot Springs for many years. My, my family had been in the bottled water business uh, yeah. while doing the international side of Great Bet. Yeah. And uh, while um, we, we, we got another uh, opportunity to produce something for Walmart but needed a bigger warehouse and over here by the interstate and everything, yeah. it just made sense to, to move over here to, wow. to Malvern. So Great Pet's always been an Arkansas company and it's a family business. I just love that. It's really cool. Absolutely. Well, thank you, David. Thank you. Well, thank you, Great Pet, and thank you, David, for showing me around. My visit was really great. Thank you, Only in Arkansas, for sponsoring this video. Life is what you make it. Let's get our hands dirty. visit was really grape. See what here at Great Bet. It was a great it <laughs>